Hey everyone, we're here today testing out Sane Smart's new self balancing robot. It comes from the Instabot line of products, which is new from Sane Smart. You get all the pieces at once, you build them yourself. They're totally customizable, it's pretty cool. Here's the controller we have for the robot. This one in particular has two joysticks. The one on the right we use to control the robot forward, back, left, right, pretty simple. The other one is customizable. For example, if you want to put sensors, different things on your robot, you can, and then you can control it with this. So once you have your robot put together, the next step is getting it to balance on its own. This robot uses three potentiometers, a type of resistor. There's a integration, proportion, and differentiation that you need to change in order to get the robot to stand up. The first one we're going to change is KP. You can do it just by using a screwdriver and checking the value on the computer. 17. <coughs> So now we have it set to 17, and that seems to work for our robot, but you can still see it's a little jerky, and so we need to adjust the other resistors as well. So now that we have the KP set at 17, we need to adjust KD, the differentiation resistor. Again, like the first one, we can adjust this using the screwdriver. Right now it's at 400. You can see the robot, it balances, but it's not quite perfect, so we'll keep going. Now the KD is at 840, and this number seems to work a lot better for our robot. Like we said before, it depends what you have on your robot that will determine the numbers you need to use for these resistors, the values. So now that we have the first two resistors set, we need to set KI. The first two we could use with just a, just a screwdriver, but the third one you're going to need to go into the IDE on the computer and change it manually. So now we changed the KI on the computer, and the value for this one is actually quite small. We have ours set at 0.1. If you find that your robot still is a little shaky, you can adjust the number up or down, but remember that the KI value is going to be relatively small. Where the KP we had set at 17, the KD we had set at 840, and now the final third one we have at just 0.1. And this seems to work for our robot. <laughs> 